you. And now to a story we've been following for more than 24 hours. A crash in southwest Houston takes the life of a five-year-old boy. Now this man is facing charges in connection to that crash. KPRC2's Brandon Walker live outside the Harris County Jail downtown with more on this developing story. Brandon, what have you learned? Yeah, well, uh, Sebastian Mata faces a charge of intoxication manslaughter, Christine. A magistrate judge this morning set bond at $100,000, although at this hour, Mata is still in custody here at the Harris County Jail. Sebastian Mata is not present, MHU. Sebastian Mata didn't physically appear this morning in magistrate court because he remained in the medical unit from apparent injuries. Here's Mata's mugshot, though. Houston police say Mata was behind the wheel of this silver BMW Sunday morning, traveling inbound on the Southwest Freeway feeder where it meets Fountain View when he ran the red light. On Fountain View headed southbound was the maroon Nissan Sentra. Inside a father and his five-year-old son. They had the green light, police say, when Mata crashed into them. Dad survived. The boy did not, and 26-year-old Sebastian Mata is accused of killing him, charged with intoxication manslaughter. Police say the Nissan flipped upon collision. The boy was in a car seat, we are told. Mata is accused of trying to run away after crashing into the Nissan. Witnesses on scene restrained him until police arrived, and it turns out there was an outstanding warrant for Mata's arrest, according to the Harris County District Attorney's Office. In January 2019, prosecutors charged Mata with driving with a suspended license. Months later in September, Mata was accused of forfeiting bond on that misdemeanor charge and an outstanding warrant had been issued for his arrest. That warrant came up yesterday at the crash scene. I'm setting the bond in this case at $100,000. I'm not approving a personal bond. A five-year-old child was killed in this accident. That last point is of significance because the state had requested bond be placed at $75,000. As you just saw there, magistrate judge increased that by 25, setting bond at $100,000. Not often seen here in PC court. Live downtown, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.